Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now in this video we're going to be going over functions, that is going to include functions with a return type, um, input parameters, and multiple return types. Uh, this is going to be one of the features of the Swift language, is the ability to return multiple values from a single function. In the previous videos we've gone over variables, string interpolation, arrays, for loops, conditional statements, that was if and switch, and now we're going to be moving on to these functions. So the first thing we need to know a little bit about uh, Swift is sort of like JavaScript. Um, anything we write that's not wrapped inside of a function or or an entry point is going to be considered global scope. And this means that it will be executed regardless of where it is in the application. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need a function to work with. So I'm just going to create a basic addition function. It's going to be called function. Sorry, not function. It's going to be called func add and it takes two parameters. Now, the parameters, to, to create a parameter inside of uh, Swift, you basically declare the name, so we're going to call it number one, and put a semicolon, and its type is going to be integer, so int. Then we just do a comma, and we do number two, uh, colon, and it's going to be an int as well. And just like a regular language, then we can just wrap that in uh, curly braces, and that's our function. Now to make a call to this function, we can simply say in global scope, that means not within the boundaries of a, another function, uh, add. And you'll see that uh, Xcode has automatically given us some IntelliSense, it knows that we need, we're need we asking for two parameters, uh, number one and number two. So I'm going to give number one a value of one, and number two a value of four. And close that off with the final brace. Now, at the moment nothing happens, but if we start to add some basic uh, basic logic inside the add function, we will get a return value. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so if so, basically from here we can say var ret val equals number one plus number two. Now inside of our um, inside of our uh, real time display here inside of the playground, you'll see that we have the result number five but we haven't declared the uh, the type of, of variable that this function is going to return to do that we simply do a hyphen and a forward slash and then we suggest it suggested us that we're going to use an int for this but I'm going to put a space and then I'm going to type int and what this means is that this function this in, this entire function here is going to return a value of integer so if we get rid of this uh, var retval we can then simply say return number one plus number two and what you'll see over here in our uh, debug area or this this real-time display is that the numbers that we've passed in were calculated it figured out that they were five then they were returned to the function which makes them display down here in the bottom and that's the basics of how we do functions inside of Swift now the next thing which is going to be the big feature for many of your users is multiple returns. Now I haven't seen this in many other languages before. I know you can get uh, ways around doing this by using by returning tuples and um, other types of variables inside of or returning arrays inside of C Sharp but this is actually built into the core of this language so this is an interesting concept and I'm just going to demonstrate how we do that now. So I'm going to create a function it's going to be called, sorry I keep typing function, I'm going to create a function and it's going to be called get names. Now this function doesn't take any parameters but it does return I'm just gonna say string comma string. Now what that means is I'm asking I'm suggesting that this function is going to return two strings. If I uh, open that and close that with curly braces we can then say return and then in parentheses sorry in square brackets we can say name one comma name two now when we make a call to sorry maybe it wasn't square brackets it was sorry it was a curly braces sorry sorry parentheses there we go so in parentheses name one comma name two now what's happening when we call the function get name is actually going to return us the first name and the second name now if I go down here and I make a call to that function, get name, 
what you'll see is that it's actually returned us name one and named two. Now the really interesting thing you can do here is you can actually click this little uh, this little eye quick look and it's actually going to show us the two variables that came back so it's going to be index 0 and index 1 we can add this if we click this little plus button here it'll add to our watches so every time that we change this function those values are being observed and they'll update in real time over here in your uh, console output slash I don't actually know what this section's called uh, we're just going to call it the real time display I suppose uh, but you'll see those values update in real time and this is awesome because now you're able to return more than one thing from a single function so thank you guys for watching I hope you liked this video and um, are getting a lot out of this series please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and actually like the video uh, in the next video we're going to be going over classes and then basic inheritance so yeah thank you guys for watching